This is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Hi everyone. So today I wanted to show you my Sandy Faber collection. And um, who you're looking at right now um, on the right is Becky Lynn. And um, Becky Lynn is the Oakley sculpt by Sandy Faber. And then to her left, we have my newest, who is Bobby Lee. And Bobby Lee is the Kinsley sculpt by Sandy Faber. And these two, um, I decided to twin up. And so um, uh, Emma gave them both uh, curly hair. <laughs> um, Bobby has a little bit lighter hair. Love his curls. And then, and then Becky Lynn is more of like a honey blonde. Love her curls too. And she gave them uh, both the exact same uh, eye color. So those are uh, the, the two that I wanted to twin up, but I also have a third that should be, uh, say, in the uh, tripleting up, and that is Sweet Baby James. Because Sweet Baby James, um, he kind of looks like um, Bobby Lee around the eyes. And so I was thinking that these three right here could be in the triplet group. And then I have two more. Oh, and Sweet Baby James is the James Sculpt by Sandy Faber. And then these two. So on the left, we have little Tommy. And he's a sweetie pie. And he's the Tommy Sculpt by Sandy Faber. And then we have, uh, to, his, uh, to his left, we have Annabella. And El Annabella is the Jewel Sculpt by Sandy Faber. And so these two have um, the same color of hair and the same color of eyes. And they are, they, I mean, Tommy has um, not quite a, a big a smile as, um, as Annabella, but they're both smiling so big. And um, I just love these two. And so these two are in um, the group. And then we have these three triplets. So I wanted to show you uh, my collection before I changed my newest, Mr. Bobby Lee. So um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and um, meet you back at the changing table. Hi everyone. So we're back up at the changing table and I have Bobby Lee with me. Um, but before we get started with his changing, um, I wanted to mention a few things. Um, first of all, I received a Christmas card in the mail from my dear friend Suzanne and I wanted to show you the gorgeous card that she sent and look at that isn't that beautiful looks like a, a roaring 20s lady she also kind of looks like an angel to me but anyway the inside says have a wonderful Christmas and it says dearest Gail have a brilliant Christmas and all the best for 2022. Love and hugs, Suzanne and her babies. So thank you, Suzanne, for the gorgeous Christmas card. Um, I need to get started on getting my Christmas cards out. Yes, I do, but thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and hang that. Um, I have a, a Christmas card um, a ribbon up here on my curtains that I, I'm hanging all my uh, cards on, and so that's going to go up there uh, with them. So thanks a lot, Suzanne. I really appreciate it. And then the other thing that I wanted to say um, is that um, our dear friend Deidre, um, who's been in our Dolly community for uh, a long, long time, um, she needs our, uh, 
our thoughts and prayers. Um, recently, she lost a nephew, and it was quite un unexpected. And um, there, she and her family are very, are really, really uh, devastated. And so, um, if we could just send out all of our thoughts and prayers to our dear friend uh, Deidre, um, she would really appreciate appreciate those very much, and so would I. Um, and uh, my thoughts and prayers also to those of you um, out there um, that are watching my video that have, um, you know, that are ill or have also lost a loved one. Um, I my heart goes out to you all, and so. Um, Thank you for um, uh, thinking of Deidre today, and uh, we're all thinking of you too. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you the outfit that we're going to change little Bobby Lee into. Okay, so this is the outfit that I'm going to be changing Bobby Lee into, and um, it's got a cream colored uh, long sleeved um, onesie. And it's got like a Peter Pan style collar in the front. And uh, um, the actual little uh, bib overalls is flannel. And it's um, in different shades of gray. And it's got this cute little pocket in the front here. And it's a long, um, long legs. And then the ones you have snaps in the back. It'll make it really easy to change him in and out of that. And also it's got two little pockets in the back. Let me see if I can get that other little pocket. There it is. And so um, underneath uh, this outfit, I'm going to be putting on this um, gray onesie that has, oh, let's see, it's got moons and stars and spaceships and um, different planets. And I just thought it would be really cute to put underneath because it was gray. And then to finish off the outfit, we are going to go with these gray socks. And these cute gray shoes from my wonderful shoe fairy. So let's go ahead and get started and um, I will tell you what I've been up to these days. <laughs> uh, let me see, uh, yesterday uh, was our monthly shopping day and um, you know it was, it was pretty much uneventful. I had a lot of things that uh, were on my list that I needed to get so, you know, we went down the aisles and we chose this, that, and the other um, to fill up our, our pantry. And, um, you know, it was, a, it was a good trip. Um, during the trip, uh, there were some things that I needed to get that was uh, non-food items. Um, I, needed, I really needed, and Frankie really needed, um, a, a sort of like a mat, uh, you know, a floor mat. Um, outside of his cage in the door area because it's real sl slippery. His cage is on our kitchen floor and the floor is slippery. And so every time, um, you know, he went to go in or out, like when I was shooing him in or out, he would kind of slip and it just really bothered me that he was slipping like that. So I ended up finding um, this cute um, uh, home sweet home floor mat for the outside of his cage. And then an, another thing that happens with him on the inside of his cage, the floor is kind of slippery too. Um, and so uh, it's like, it's made of um, uh, vinyl. And so I wanted to also get like a rubber floor mat for the inside of his cage um, so that he wouldn't slip when he's, you know, he, he, he likes to sometimes, um, you know, after I first put him in his cage at nighttime, um, he'll pace back and forth, back and forth, because, you know, he's just not ready. He just doesn't want to go back in right away, you know. Um, he likes to stay out with us, but it's bedtime, so. Um, but anyway, so I found a rubber floor mat that works perfectly for in there. And I want to get one more because the floor mat is, um, is kind of short, and I really would like it to extend um, all the way across this cage. And so... Um, but anyway, I wanted to um, pop a picture uh, in, uh, in right now to show you Frankie when he's inside of his cage and um, his home sweet home floor mat. So here it is. And that's, so that is, um, that's Frankie and um, he doesn't stay in his cage very much. <laughs> 
Um, but um, let me interrupt for just a moment because I wanted to show you my new little guy. Um, this is, uh, he's got a, a full, um, full body vinyl, but he's, he's, um, he's also got, um, what do you call, um, he's, oh, he's weighted and, you know, got the fluff inside too. So he's very, um, he's very squishy and, um, his vinyl is super, super soft and he is, um, uh, anatomically correct in the front and the back and, uh, just like my uh, my Becky Lynn, they have the same um, style of body, but you know Becky Lynn has got little girly parts, and uh, Bobby Lee has got little boy parts. Parts, and one thing that I like about um, uh, Sandy Faber sculpts, well, I like a lot of things about her sculpts, but anyway, um, the feet are super super cute. Um, I I just really like them, and then the expressive hands that she makes for them. So um, I wanted to show you those few details about uh, with him before I put his onesie on. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, so Frankie is, uh, he stays in his cage uh, at nighttime when we're all sleeping. And then uh, whenever I come over to the farmhouse here, I put him in his cage. And uh, he's got that nice big perch in there that he's just so comfortable on. And so he just waits very patiently and naps and... You know, he's, he loves his routine. Um, we've all got a, uh, we've all built a routine around Frankie, <laughs> you know. So uh, one of the routine, the fun routine things that um, my husband does with him, and I think I've, I've showed you a video of this, but um, for those of you who are new subscribers or, or, you know, didn't get a chance to watch the video where I showed this, um, Frankie loves banana peel. And so my husband, after he's done eating his morning banana, he'll strip off a long strip of banana peel and uh, he'll hold it up in the air and make Frankie jump for it. And uh, he just gets, you know, my husband just gets a huge kick out of uh, making him jump for it. But he can, Frankie can jump really high, you know. And it's also like it's a good thing for him because, you know, you got to challenge your pets, and um, that's a challenge for him. If he he was just given everything all the time, you know, he and he would, didn't have to work for it, life would be pretty boring. So, um, but anyway, so yeah, um, another thing that we've done with Frankie, we have discovered um, that he was really getting, um, oh, what do you call, uh, uh, hyper. In, at night when we were watching TV and um, I, I actually noticed this because during during the the daytime when I'm in the house and my husband is outside working and you know we're not together watching TV Frankie is really calm you know and then what was happening was uh, he started getting he like my husband would come in and we'd eat dinner and then watch TV and Frankie would get like hyper and um, so I made the, the discovery that um, noise from the TV really bothers Frankie because turkeys have exceptional eyesight and exceptional um, hearing and that TV was driving him nuts and we didn't even know it until I kind of put two and two together. Um, this has been about probably about a month ago or so, maybe longer, but so what we do when we watch TV is we have... Um, earphones and and I have uh, ear pods and things like that you know and uh, we turn the sound down and then we listen to the TV without the sound and Frankie just does his thing and just walks around calmly and pecks at his toys or whatever you know and uh, so I'm really happy that we discovered that because you know you always want to make your pets um, as happy and stress free, free as possible and uh, so I think that we found our, um, our magical balance, uh, living with Frankie. So, um, anyway, I'm really, really super happy about that. And I'm sure that Frankie is too. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. This outfit is looking super cute on this little guy, little Bobby, Bobby Lee. I'm so happy to have him in my collection. Um, I, uh, I, one of my Dolly friends actually commented that, Bobby Lee is her new favorite, and uh, that made me so happy. Um, thank you so much for that. 
So um, he's a he is a cutie patootie, that's for sure. Look at that little smile, and he's got his little cheeks going on there. But um, but yeah. Oh, I, I did want to mention about um, the last my very last video that I did. Um, I have I haven't gotten a chance to answer everyone's comments. Um, I got a total of about sixty comments, and so I've been working my my way through them and I'm about halfway done or so and um, so I wanted to let you know that if I haven't answered your comments that I am working on them and I should be done by by today okay and um, and I just really appreciate your patience with me with that so thank you for that um, oh I know what else so anyway um, when I'm standing here when it's winter time and I'm standing here um, at the changing table, I'm standing on a, a bare uh, wooden floor. And uh, we don't have any, um, uh, what do you call, um, you know, underneath the house, we underneath the floor here, we don't have any, um, what do you call that? <laughs> uh, nothing, you know, no, oh, it's insulation. I heard somebody tell me insulation. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, anyway, we don't have any insulation. And, um, like the way that, uh, country houses are up here, uh, in, you know, in this area and in a lot of places in West Virginia, our house is actually up on, um, on like big blocks. And then we have this huge underneath, um, that is, you know, is empty and then all kinds of, um, you know, air comes through the flooring and, uh, so yesterday when we were at Walmart, um, I happened upon some, uh, it's a, it's a rug. It's, it's actually a bath mat and it's, uh, it, the brand name is deer foam. And if any of you have ever worn a deer foam slippers, they are heavenly. And, uh, anyway, so I bought it and I'm standing on it right now and it is cushiony. It is, um, it's keeping my feet warmer. And you guys, I'm even wearing slippers. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm even wearing slippers and my feet get cold. Because when you when there's no insulation, you know, you're standing right on the, the cold air. And our temps have been super, super cold. You know, 30s and 40s as for the high. So, uh, but anyway, I was really, really happy to find to find that. So what do you think so far? I th I'm thinking he's looking really cute in his outfit. Um... His eyes are like a, oh, they're like a, a blue, real pretty blue, and it goes really well with this gray. A really super cute outfit. And if I remember right, um, I believe that Suzanne, whenever I adopted Archie, uh, Suzanne sent this outfit with Archie. And uh, so this is, I'm pretty sure this is Archie's outfit, but... Uh, I don't think Archie's going to mind because uh, I do all kinds of trading back and forth <laughs> with outfits and things in the nursery here. So, um, but, you know, actually there's there's a couple of outfits that are absolutely, um, you know, I st stick, you know, I don't, I don't put it on any other baby but the one that the baby, uh, what, you know, then the one that came with that baby and, uh. So that, but that's, that's kind of like a rare exception because, you know, I like to, um, I like to put different outfits on the babies. So, so here we are. What's going on with this shoe, mister? I think he's trying to give me issues. Are you trying to give me issues? Look at that little smile. He's, he's got this little smile on like he's been, you know, he's trying to make trouble. So here he is, and let me go ahead and pick him up. I'm going to readjust the camera. There he is. He's all ready. He's all ready for winter. Yep. And uh, I almost decided to put him in, um, in a Christmas outfit, but I'm going to wait a little bit on Christmas outfits for the, for the babies. So... Um, this will probably be his last sort of winter outfit before he changes into Christmas. So anyway, everyone, um, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Um, 
I hope you all are having a good day and a good week. And um, thank you for uh, stopping by and visiting with me and Bobby Lee. And um, until we meet again, bye-bye.